Platinum. <laughs> Guys, you're loving here, and today, we got a hobby box of 1920 OPG Platinum. Platinum, four cards pack, 20 packs per box, and a given box, we're getting one auto, six retro cards, five rainbow, and two sunset base parallels. We should be getting matte pink, right? Ugh. Why am I reading French? Yeah, Matt Pinker 120, so we should be getting a Matt Pink as well. On top of that, two numbered parallels. Yeah, Platinum, a couple of things. 2021 keeps getting pushed back. I mean, everything from 2021 is getting pushed back. So it's not to pick up a box of 1920 in the meantime. And also, I got an email a while back. I'm not going to say the name because, I mean, I probably should have asked, but I only remembered recently. But the Kale McCarr, one of one auto, has been pulled. Somebody showed me that. The biggest pull available. So there's that. Before I continue on, this box costs 140. So if I can find this stuff for under 160, I'll definitely pick it up. But let's get right into Platinum. All right, Platinum, I feel like this stuff is just lacking compared to Prism and Chrome. Now, I'm not saying it should have like a metric frick ton of parallels like Prism, but I just feel like this is lacking. I feel like this product needs to have a better retail presence as well. Maybe have some retail exclusive parallels and bring back sticker autos so we have more hit potential. But there's that. Also, I have like one good Platinum card. Hopefully, I can change it. I've never pulled Emerald Surge. I've been opening Platinum since it came out in 1415. And yeah, I've never pulled Emerald Surge. My lowest numbered Platinum card is oh. it's probably somewhere in here. It's card number to 49 somewhere i yeah i don't have too many low numbered platinum cards so I have a crap ton of violet pixels for whatever reason but yeah let's hopefully get a nice numbered card here of course we're looking for kale mccarr quinn hughes jack hughes adam fox carter verheggy for me but he sure the base for this year are great by the way even though that's off center af yeah. thought about getting a mcdavid rainbow but all the backs are like this badly off center and if the backs aren't off center then the front's gonna be off center it's just ugh. but there you go less bronze marquee rookies it's eichel retro and philip forsberg next pack up platinum here 140 it was 120 the last time i opened this i regret not getting a case of this back when it was like 100 bucks but sean couturier Tar Hirose, calder front runners i am looking forward to 2021 there's rose calder front runners carlson and randy Hopkins. next pack up here also i'm not too huge on the retros i think i touched on that last time but not too huge on the retros there's a jesper boquist marquee rookie truba and we got a rookie rainbow Ooh, it is alexi sorella he's out in europe now but there's a rainbow marquee rookie there and eric carlson but yeah i've been looking to get more platinum card but all the mcdavids i see are off centered whether it's in the front or back number ones like it's just uh victor olsen rookie that's a decent one there sergey Bobrovsky. here's one of our numbered cards which is 399 i just don't like that Bobrovsky and kyle palmieri violet pixels for palmieri there 399 still needs a sign probably will sign with the islanders there but there's palmieri and jimmy ben yeah not a fan of that like if you're guaranteed only two numbered cards and there's a card to 399 might as well not be numbered that's a big problem if you're doing that you gotta guarantee like a card number two 100 or less or something you know but it looks like we got a card in the second slot here that's a rainbow it might be an auto Blake Wheeler step on so got Carter Hurt there is it an auto well it's the Coyotes nope everybody's second favorite aunt, Auntie Ranta now Carolina Hurricane Rainbow like that looks nice but I'm just not too huge on the retros there so all right next pack of platinum here come on nice numbered card I'll just say that <laughs> right there then we got Capo Caco Marky Rookies Tammy Panarin, best in the world, and Alex Tarr. But yeah, this product's typically like a sub hundred dollar box. So I really don't expect much when I open this. I've never pulled anything really good from Platinum, so don't really expect that to change anytime soon. We got a sunset here. Hey, Connor McDavid, I'll take that. That's decent right there. Then we got Philip Forsberg. Sunset there. Stamkos. <laughs> Frick right off. All right, next pack up here, Platinum. I want to get into Platinum, but it's just, ugh. The highs are fantastic. I'd love to have a Makar Emerald Surge, right? Like, those cards are so sick, but box by box, this product is not good. Nico Sturm, Ryan O'Reilly, then we got Vili Hainola, Retro Marky Rookie, then we got Kyle Conn. So yeah, I'm hesitant with this product. We got Eric Brands from Marky Rookies. Uh, Rainbow, Drew Doughty, Rainbow. Then we got Line A, Gibson. All right, this is the halfway point of the box. This is the last pack on the left stack. Still nothing, so hopefully we get a decent numbered card that's not of violet pixels but andre svechikov got a marquee rookies here and looks like we got a blue card it's probably the retro but bems from marquee rookie there brent burns uh is it autographed right wing it's upside down so this has to be autographed right who's a good right wing that's from the blue jackets uh cam atkinson so that's not autographed nope cam atkinson so this is a blue rainbow yeah blue rainbow 43 of 149 so our two numbered cards one's a 400 pretty much and the other one's a 149 number 43 so he's on the flyers now trade for jacob vorchek but there's atkinson there you go yeah this is just an underwhelming product i'll just say that i really want to like this product but it's just tough all right we got a red prism it's not a rookie hopefully it's a good name though we got barrett hayden and okay chicago blackhawk mark andre flurry red prism 10 of 199 so good name there i'll take that one for sure there's pk and lundquist and the autograph is going to be absolute fecal matter is this going to be like a base rookie auto and it's going to be a meth player i can already tell it's just the way this product is clayton keller 
A rainbow, Brock Besser, rainbow, followed up by Cam Atkinson Retro, and Nazem Kadri. This stuff is lacking. They should bring back the jumbo boxes or the ones where you guaranteed to us from 14, 15. It needs more. Fabro, oh, Emil Bemstrom, Matt Pink, marquee rookie there, so that's not numbered, but there you go. Matt Pink, marquee rookie of Bemstrom. And you got Latanga Terravina. So still waiting on the autograph. We got three numbered cards, so all pretty high numbered Bennington the marquee rookies David Gustafson marquee rookies Jacob Vrana Sean Monahan. okay next up here oh that has to be an auto right perhaps uh, there's Phil okay Panarin so this card it's not a base it's not a retro that's gonna say the position right so I have to go this way for this right wait I'm confused. What am I looking at here? Is this an update? Oh, yeah, and that's another thing. It's going to be like a fecal matter Michael Dell Cole update or... Okay, well, that's not bad, but still. Sean Monahan. That's an 18-19 update. Screw updates, but there you go. We got a retro red rainbow auto there, Monahan. On card auto. Not bad there. Bent to heck. Look, look at that. Come on. Platinum. Maybe I should just stick with SPA. I mean, SPA was the right decision to begin with anyways, but Trevor Moore. To bring it Rainbow Kane lurking. Sorry. <laughs> Can't even do it right now. Four more packs. Disappointing product. This pro yeah, it's just not a great product. Clifton. See, now I'm at the point now where I know I'm just not gonna get anything else from this. Ah, well, Rainbow Wallstrom is not terrible, but still. There's gonna be nothing else in this box, so let's just get right through it here. Wow. Yeah. Hey, nephew Tyler. Sunset. So yeah, guys, there's another box of 1920 Platinum. Yeah, I try to like this product. I try to like this product, but it is lacking. It just doesn't offer enough, in my opinion. Like, three high-numbered parallels. Yeah, I want to like it, but I just can't. It's just too tough getting those really good pulls. Yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. Definitely not going to go crazy on 2021. So, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.